What is up you guys? My name is Aubrey and this is my channel and today we're going to be talking about the EIDL grant and loan program because as you guys know last week a new bill was introduced that would give this program more funding that would make it more accessible to millions of entrepreneurs, gig workers, and independent contractors who need the money and it would require more transparency and more efficiency from the SBA when handing out these funds. So today we'll be talking about this bill, I'll be giving you a status update on the bill, and I will also be answering some of your frequently asked questions that I had from my last video I did on the subject. So let's get started. So on July 20th, Senator Jackie Rosen out of Nevada introduced the bill that would give more funding and that would require more from the SBA in regards to how they process the idle funds, how they distribute the funds, and how they report the current status of the funds. This bill would give more funding to both the grant portion of the program as well as the loan portion. It would require constant and kind of up-to-date reporting from the SBA in regards to what the current status is of the program. And it would also require the SBA to give out the full $10,000 cash advance as opposed to the $1,000 per employee up to $10,000 that they've been handing out thus far in the program. This was big news because not only does this mean that the IDLE program is getting more funding, which means that more entrepreneurs can have access to these funds, but the $10,000 cash advance and the fact that the SBA kind of went rogue and changed the rules of that cash advance on their own has been a huge talking point really since March whenever the CARES Act passed and whenever the SBA decided to go rogue. So the fact that there is a senator addressing this and trying to fix the mistake that the SBA made is really, really good news in my opinion. Now, as of right now, unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot to report as far as updates go. We can head onto my computer and we can go onto congress.gov. And this is actually a cool website and this is a cool section of the website that allows for you to see up-to-date information with the most current bills that are being introduced. I will include a link to this in the description below, but if you look here, this is the page for this idle bill for Small Business Act. And right here, you can see that it says Senator Jackie Rosen introduced it on July 20th. It is being controlled and being addressed by the Committee of Small Business and Entrepreneurship. And the latest action was when it was introduced on July 20th. It said that it was read twice and it was referred to the Committee on Small Business and Entrepreneurship. As of right now, that is the only action that has been taken for this bill. Now, what that means is that basically, Senator Jackie Rosen brought this bill to the Senate and then the Senate read it and they were basically like, okay, this committee, the Committee of Small Business and Entrepreneurship is going to be the committee that is going to handle this bill from here on out. Now, if you go over to the actions tab, you can see what has been taken place and what actions have been taken for this bill. And like I said, as of right now, it was simply just introduced to the Senate on July 20th. And there has not been further action that has been taken in regards to this specific bill. But the one big thing that you can see is co-sponsors. So if we go over to the co-sponsors tab, you can see that as of right now, this bill has six co-sponsors. It has five Democrats and it has one Republican. In addition to Senator Jackie Rosen, that's seven people that are supporting this bill. The most recent co-sponsor was added just on July 29th. Now that is the biggest news and that's kind of the biggest update that I have for you all is that there are seven senators that have now expressed support for this bill, which is big news because that means that it is starting to get noticed. It is starting to gain traction and the fact that we have seen co-sponsors being added fairly consistently from the date that this bill was introduced until today is really positive news. And the more co-sponsors that Jackie Rosen can get, the better chance that this bill will end up being passed and signed into law. Now, as you guys know, this bill has to be passed in the Senate, the House, and then it has to be signed into law by President Donald Trump. And so there is kind of a ways to go until it is a bill and until we will start seeing the effects of this bill if it is passed and signed into law. Now, the time frame that we're looking at is really, quite honestly, up in the air. I think that it could be anywhere from a month to six weeks, maybe even longer and maybe shorter. It's hard to say exactly what time frame we can be expecting to see any sort of results from this, but you guys can count on the fact that I will keep an eye on this website. I will keep an eye on any of the status updates regarding this bill, and I will keep you guys updated. Now for the frequently asked questions. So one of the questions that I got a lot was, I have not applied for the IDLE program yet. Should I hold off until after this bill passes? And my answer to that is it really depends on you. I 
personally probably would not wait because this bill isn't guaranteed. And the fact of the matter is, is that the idle program is only going to be open for however long the idle program has funds left. And if the idle program runs out of funds next week and you haven't applied, then you're kind of out of luck. And you're kind of banking on the fact that this bill is going to pass and that just simply is not guaranteed. So if I was you, I would probably still apply. There is always the ability to appeal and to file a letter of reconsideration for more funds if this bill passes, but I would just worry about waiting and then holding out for this bill to pass and then the bill never passes and then you're out of luck and you've lost your opportunity. And so I certainly wouldn't bet on this bill passing. Like the fact of the matter is it's not guaranteed and you need to treat it like that is the case. The other question that I got a lot was how will this affect people that were denied and are now filing a letter of reconsideration for the grant and for the loan? And the answer to that question isn't exactly clear because the SBA and the government have not announced any sort of guidelines on what this exactly means and what the process will look like for people who are currently going through the appeals process. Now my gut is saying that this will absolutely help anybody who's applying and filing a letter of reconsideration because it gives more funds to the program and the more funds they have the better chance that you have of being approved. And so though the exact kind of explanation of how this will affect you is unclear, I think it's safe to say that it will affect you for the better if you are somebody who is is applying for a letter of reconsideration and an appeal. The other question I got was how will this affect people who already got the grant, they already got their idle funds, but they want the full $10,000 cash advance. How will that process work and what will that look like? And again, unfortunately, I don't have an answer to that question because it's not outlined in the bill. I am very curious to see how the SBA will handle that and how the government will handle that. Me personally, I think that this process is gonna look maybe one of two ways. I think that the distribution of the full $10,000 cash advance will either be automatic and the SBA will just kind of pull the banking information of all the idle recipients and they'll deposit the rest of the funds into their bank account automatically without any action taken by us. Or I think it will end up needing to be manual and we will need to apply for the full grant. I think that that could be through a application process or a letter of reconsideration process. I am not exactly sure, but I will definitely keep an eye out on that and I will absolutely keep you guys updated on what that's going to look like moving forward. But you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some valuable information regarding the IDLE grant and the IDLE loan program. Now I know that this isn't the most eventful update, but we are headed in the right direction even if that direction direction is slow and steady progress, but I will be sure to keep you guys updated with the newest information regarding all things idle loans, idle grants, and of course this bill. But remember you guys, just because the idle grant program is closed does not mean that the idle loan program is, and you can still apply for an idle loan through the idle portal. I have a video walking you guys through this process. I will include that down in the description below. Also remember to contact your senators and contact your Congress members. The more we contact our government leaders, the better chance we have of them passing the bills that we want them to pass. I will include a number of links on how you can go about contacting these people in the description below. Like always, you guys, I appreciate you watching this video and I would love to hear your thoughts on this bill. I would love to hear your thoughts on the current economic climate and the current status of the HEALS Act. So make sure to comment down below and I will respond to every single comment. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.